Good morning. Good morning and welcome to today's vlog. I just woke up. It's 9.24 a.m. And today is Sunday, July 30th. I thought I would just vlog a day in my life. I will show you what I'm doing, what I'm learning, what I'm doing to heal my chronic fatigue syndrome slash fibromyalgia. And, and I'll probably show you what I eat. I'll take you to church, stuff like that. Cool. Before I eat breakfast, I'm going to be doing my Bible morning devotional Jesus time. So I'm using the YouVersion Bible app. If you don't have that installed on your phone, make sure you do that. <laughs> I've got such a bad morning voice. So I'm doing the Bible in one year plan and then I started another plan yesterday that I thought was interesting because I wanted to see what it had to say about millennials. So what I'm also gonna do, I've got this liter of water and I've really been working on drinking whole lot of water before I do breakfast or do anything so I'm not gonna stop reading or praying or doing something like that until the whole bottle is gone because my Bible one year plan doesn't take that long and yeah I just want to spend extra time with focus this morning that's how I'm measuring it I did it yesterday and it it was good it was really really good I just finished the Bible one year plan for today and I've got that much water left so now I'm gonna find something else to read yeah every so often when I'm reading I like to switch over to the message version of the Bible which it's kind of like a devotional version. I just like to see what it has to say. I'm reading in Romans 13 today, which is such a good chapter. I had an NLT, which is what I normally read out of. I had it all highlighted, so I switched over to the message. In the message, it says in verse 11, to make sure that you don't get so absorbed and exhausted in taking care of all your day-by-day -day obligations that you lose track of time and doze off oblivious to God. The night is about over, dawn is about to break. Be up and awake to what God is doing. Man, that's good. Paul be preaching to the Romans. <clears throat> One liter done. Now breakfast. Here is my yummy looking sweet potato scramble. I put in organic baby bella mushrooms, organic spinach, some sweet potato, some cauliflower, and some leftover chicken. I had this for lunch yesterday and it looks so good. So I recognize that this is not a typical breakfast at all. And I want to explain why I'm eating this. Right now I'm following a gluten-free, dairy-free, egg-free, pretty much grain-free diet. Not 100% grain-free, but pretty much. So that really changes what I can have for breakfast. I've been doing smoothies a lot because that's something I can do, but I don't really like to really do a super sugary breakfast and I don't like this you know, to spike my blood sugar in the morning. What I've got to learn is breakfast doesn't have to be a typical American breakfast and this looks delicious and it will be delicious and will be a great breakfast. And sometimes I've done like super random stuff like a tin of tuna and veggies. <laughs> You know, it kind of sounds weird for breakfast because people aren't used to that, but you gotta do what you gotta do and it's delicious and it's nutritious. These are my supplements and this. This is like a 10 minute process. It is one o'clock. I've been editing a video and working on thumbnails all morning. And now I made a yummy salad. You guys can see it. I chopped up some romaine. I added some organic strawberries that were about to go bad. I've got some organic free range chicken that I already had cooked up. I made some honey mustard dressing kind of like I did in the last video that I posted. And yes, doesn't that look so good? And here's another angle look at this delicious plate of yummy things. Well, hello. I'm out of breath. Story of my life. I almost never wear makeup in these videos. 
Ladies, if you want to learn how to be comfortable without any makeup on, just don't ever wear any makeup and post videos of yourself not wearing any makeup on the internet. <laughs> it's worked for me, I guess. So if you guys are new or newer to my channel, you may not know that I've been dealing with chronic illness. I have chronic fatigue syndrome slash fibromyalgia, which encompasses a ton of different symptoms. Like it's crazy. I feel like I've had every symptom at some point throughout this illness that you can imagine. Probably not all of them, but I've had a lot of them. So what I've been doing is I've been documenting my journey as I'm working towards healing. I absolutely believe that healing and recovery from this illness is possible. Some people don't, but I believe that it is. So I wanna talk about some of the things that I'm doing. I've got this book that's been very helpful. It's called from Fatigued to Fantastic by Dr. Jacob Teitelbaum. I have learned so much from this book. He is kind of the leading expert when it comes to chronic fatigue syndrome and fibromyalgia. And in there he has what he recommends for his patients, what's called the SHINE protocol. That's S-H-I-N-E. Actually in this book, it's SHIN protocol. Doesn't sound as fancy. I've looked at more of his resources and I ended up adding the E. SHINE stands for sleep hormones, infections, nutrition, and exercise. And the reason exercise was added later is because exercise can really cause a lot of problems with CFS patients. I've tried so many times to do a little tiny bit of weightlifting or a little bit of tiny bit of whatever and it usually makes me so much worse. So doing some stretching and some light yoga, walking, for no more than five minutes, that's working for me right now and I'm doing what I can. And in case you wanna know like how I've been feeling lately, I had like a super rough week where I had horrible chronic pain. So I've been doing all kinds of things to try and manage that. And magnesium supplementing has really been helpful for pain, soaking in Epsom salts, which is also a source of magnesium. Um, I take ibuprofen when needed. It's been harder for me to film YouTube videos just cause I've had some rough days, but I'm getting out of that rut. And here I am speaking to you now. I'm watching some videos from some fellow chronic illness YouTube peeps. And I've got a snack. I've got some steamed cauliflower and some sweet potato chips. These are a really great brand. They're from Jackson's Honest. And all they have are three ingredients, which is sweet potato, organic coconut oil, and sea salt. I'm wearing makeup now. Wow, she looks different. That's because she's wearing makeup. I'm about to head to church, and before I do, I'm gonna tell you about what's going down at church right now. Our church is in a series called At The Movies. So what happens is we see clips from blockbuster popular Hollywood movies, and then the pastor kind of teaches a message alongside of that and it's always really powerful. And what we also do, we totally deck out and decorate the lobbies to look like a movie theme. So the location I'm going to today, the theme is Beauty and the Beast, and it's amazing. And this is the last day it's gonna be up, so I'm gonna show you guys. So you may be wondering why do a series like at the movies, why would you watch movies in church? And the why ties to one of our core values, which says, we will do anything short of sin to reach people who don't know Christ. And what we see time and time again, every single year, people come in because they're interested in what we're doing, see the movie, to see like, what is this church thing all about? And there's a powerful message that is transforming for so many people. And I know a lot of people personally who finally decided to come to church during this series and their life was changed. They plugged into the church and their eternity is changed forever. So I wanna explain that now. Here we go. Hi, welcome to Life Church. I just love church and I wish I didn't have to leave. 
And I wish it didn't make me so tired. It's time for dinner. I've got this leftover grass-fed beef stir-fry that we had for dinner last night. So I am just reheating this with a whole ton. I added a lot of organic spinach and I also added some cauliflower to bring in some extra veg. And of course, it needed some more coconut aminos, which is my healthy alternative to soy sauce. And I squeezed some lemon in too. This meal is causing me to feel some type of way. You guys just look at all those veggies, yes. I should probably end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video and you have not subscribed yet, that's a great next step for you. Yeah. Again, thank you so much for your prayers and encouragement as I'm battling this health thing. I'm gonna get through it. Bye.